In this video, I'll show you how to fix the application failed to start because side-by-side -side configuration is incorrect error in Windows 10 and 11. This error typically occurs due to the problem with the Visual C++ redistributable or when an application can't find the correct dependencies to run. I'll show you four different methods to try to resolve the issue. Often, the issue is caused by missing or corrupted Visual C++ redistributable. You can try repairing or reinstalling it. Let's click on the Windows search box and type appwiz.cpl and press enter to open the program and features window. Locate Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable in the list. Right click on it and select change. Then click on repair and just follow the prompt to complete the repair process. Once done, let's locate the other Microsoft Visual C++, the 32-bit version, which should be labeled as x86. Right-click on it, select Change, and then click on Repair. Once everything is done, restart your PC and check to see if the problem has been resolved. If the issue persists, let's try reinstalling the Microsoft Visual C++. Uninstall both versions from the Program and Features window. And let's download the redistributable from the Microsoft website. I left the link down in the descriptions. Open a browser and let's go to this page. Scroll down and download and install both of these files. Once installed, restart your PC and check to see if the issue has been resolved. Now corrupted or missing system file can cause this error as well. So let's run the system file checker or SFC and the DISM tool to repair any corrupted files. From the taskbar search, let's type CMD, right click on the command prompt and run as an administrator. First, let's run the SFC scan. So type SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter. After the scan is complete, run the DISM tool to fix any issues with Windows images. Let's type DISM space forward slash online space forward slash clean up hyphen image space forward slash restore health and press enter. Once done, restart your computer and check to see if the issue has been resolved. Now the problem can be with the specific application you are trying to run, so try reinstalling it to see if that resolves the issue. From the Windows search, let's type app wiz.cpl and hit enter. That should open the program and features window. Find the application and uninstall it and then reinstall it. And that should ensure that all the required dependencies including the correct versions of the Visual C++ are properly installed. If none of the above steps works and the issue persists, you may need to consider resetting Windows 11. Now this should be your last resort as it will remove all your apps and settings but keep your personal files. To reset Windows, let's right click on the Windows icon and select Settings. Then click on System and scroll down and let's select Recovery. Once you're there, click on the Reset PC and choose the option to keep my files and just follow the prompt to complete the reset. Hopefully, one of these methods will fix your issue. If it does, please let me know which one fixed your issue in the comments below. And as always, like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.